Well, I, I hope everyone has had a chance to get something to eat. If you haven't, what's wrong with you? Um, no, but uh, we are glad uh, that you're here, that you've stayed with us. Uh, now is not the time that the food will be taken up. I'm mostly distracting you so someone can make me a plate and I can take, no, that's just a joke. Uh, we're gonna just have a little brief moment now here. We're gonna uh, burn the note to this building that we are in. Yeah, so. Um, so as we've come together, I hope you kept your insert. There's a time, Nikki's gonna come in a moment for you to respond and do some things there. But as we've come together in this uh, special time, let us uh, have a word of prayer. Great God, we thank you so much for this, uh, this building that you've uh, blessed us with, God, for the faithfulness to see it through to this day when we celebrate, Lord, uh, the uh, cancellation of our indebtedness in this place. And Lord, we are thankful for all the, the work, not only that was done to make this building a reality, Lord, but all the work that was done here in this place for your kingdom. We pray, God, as we come to this time that we look at it not as an end to celebrate, but Lord, just a milestone on the journey as we continue on following you in this kingdom and in its work. So Lord, be with us in this brief time we share together in Christ's name. Amen. If you would please take part in the responsive reading with me, you will respond in the bold print. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the Lord of their salvation. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the, King of glory? the Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is the King of Glory? At this time, I'd like to just lead us in a prayer of rededication. And in this time, what I, I want to ask you to do is you're sort of finding your way back, settling down a little bit, uh, to think in your, in your heart, in your mind, uh, of, of something that the Lord has done through you, for you, by you, in this place, whether it's coaching a basketball team, whether it has been during the recovery of 2011 and 2012, whether it's been right now in this place as you're sitting and, and reconnecting with someone you haven't talked to in ages. To think about this place of all the meals shared in here, not only in times like this, but in times of grief and sorrow as we've gathered together to remember loved ones. So spend some time, just a moment or two, let the Lord bring to your mind and to your heart some, some memory, some thought, some story about how God has blessed you by and through this place. And then I will lead us in a prayer of rededication. So let us pray together now. Holy God, for the memories we have, the memories we have made, and those that will come, those that will be made in this place, God, for meals shared, for games played, for stories heard, for scripture read, for good times and bad shared together, Lord, we are thankful. And as we gather in this place, though, Lord, it has been here for some time, we dedicate it once again to your glory and to the work of your kingdom. 
that we, your people, your church, called the First Baptist Church of Williams, may use it, Lord. That we may use this place and not see it as something we possess, not see it as something we own, but, Lord, as something simply of which we are stewards, called by you to do your work. We give this place back to you, O God, for it was yours from the beginning. And we pray, Lord, that we may be found faithful in its use. We pray these things in the name of Christ, our Lord, who calls us ever on. Amen. And now, I don't know if you can see this, but the note, you see what it says across it? P-A-I-D. That's paid, Pat. So, yeah. <laughs> so. In the... In the Hebrew tradition of burnt offerings, we offer this not as a relief from debt, but as a gift to God who has dedicated, to whom we dedicate this place and to whom we give all glory and honor. This might take a while. Turn it upside down. I ain't used to smoking. <laughs> and now as the note burns, hear these words from the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Verses 9 through 13. For we are God's servants working together. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build it. <clears throat> For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible. For the day of the Lord will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. We've gathered here today to celebrate the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. Thanks be to God who calls us into this place for such a time as this. And now, may you continue on and join the company and fellowship of one another in Christ our Lord, who is here in our presence. Thank you.